Two men are sitting on the train talking. One guy says, did you hear the one about the two Jews who were walking down the street? The other guy says, hold it, what's with you? Why are you always telling jokes about the Jews? I find it offensive. Why must they always be about the Jews? You're right, his friend says, let me start the joke again. So these two Chinese guys are walking down the street on the way to their nephew's bar mitzvah. But beyond mere frames of reference, there are jokes that are unique to the Jewish experience. For example, in the late 1930s, two elderly Jews are sitting on a Berlin park bench. One of them is reading a Yiddish newspaper. The other is reading their Sturmer, a virulent anti-Semitic propaganda piece for the Nazis with a broad smile on his face. This proves too much for the first Jew. He says, it's not enough that you read that Nazi trash, you find it enjoyable, no less? Look, replies the other, let me explain. If I read your paper, what do I see? Jewish property is confiscated in Vienna. Jews are deported in Krakow. Jews are being murdered in Kiev. But I read the Sturmer, it's pure bliss. It says Jews control all the banks in the world, the media. There's a conspiracy, they're taken over. This is fantastic. This is a pleasure. A number of years ago, our community hosted Professor Deborah Lipstadt, who just spoke beautifully. She was, as you will know, sued by the Holocaust denier David Irving and had to prove the existence of the Holocaust in court. She won the case, thankfully, and this whole story was immortalized in the film Denial. And she made the following observation about anti-Semitism. Whereas all other forms of racism ascribe inferior traits, to the subjects of their hate, whom they ostracize, whom they marginalize out of fear of contamination. Jew hatred stems from the fear that Jews are superior, not inferior, and conspire to use their superiority to take over the world. And so the previous joke does in fact sadly qualify, in my view, as a Jewish joke, inasmuch as it captures something unique about the Jewish experience.